Hi, I'm Nayeli. I was looking at my phone because I have a very important message. This is the message. Celle-ci est pour toi, Angeline. Ah, uh, so what I think I said was, this one's for you, Angeline. <laughs> so I got a request um, to figure out a, a you know, maybe like a, a possible solution to a tiny little problem that a, a fellow Wix designer had. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one option, which is, of course, not recommended by everyone. And of course, um, you know, it's just like a, like a workaround. Um, but if it works for you, then this is how you do it. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial video, I'm going to use the one-in-one -one, uh, platform. There are plenty of other registrars that do have this functionality and can possibly do it. Just ask their customer service, uh, check it out on their, uh, maybe they have articles or um, a support section on their website that you can possibly find the answer to it. So try to find it there. If not, if you have one-in-one, -one, well, here you go. This one's for you. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is log in. Why are you logging in, you ask? Well, let me tell you. After you log in, you're going to go into your control panel. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial video, I did purchase a uh, domain. It's called checkoutyourwebsite.com. I know, I keep buying domains just for these tutorials. I mean, I should be getting them for free, you know? <laughs> so, once you're inside of your dashboard, um, it should land right on the domain section. If not, then go to the left side, click on domains, and it'll take you there. If you have one domain, then it should be the only one there. If you have more than one, you'll see the list. So find the one that you need or that you want to use, and that's the one that you're gonna be working with right now. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do something called masking. Masking um, has two different ways that it could go. One, uh, when you type in a URL, let's say checkoutyourwebsite.com, it'll send them off to a different website by forwarding them to that website. And then once they land on there, they will see that website's domain. For example, if I forward this one to webexdesigns.com, um, with just regular forwarding, then, you know, as soon as they type in checkoutyourwebsite.com, they click enter, they land on webexdesigns.com, then webexdesigns comes out on the URL bar, right? Well, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, redirect, but using what they call a frame uh, redirect, which will mask the URL that's underneath. So for example, if they type in checkoutyourwebsite.com and it sends them to the webexdesigns.com, checkoutyourwebsite.com will stay on top so they won't know the other domain that's on the bottom. I know, how cool. Again, not recommended by everyone. But here's how you do it. <laughs> so on your URL, you're going to go to the action tab little section there. Click on the little doodad. I know, don't you just love my vocabulary? I have no idea what these things are called, but I know how to do it. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> so once you go there, you're going to click on, let me see, there's show details, manage subdomains, privacy, renewal, transfer, DNS. Hmm, the option that I want is not there. So let me go over here and just click on the domain. Okay, so destination right here in the settings, you're going to go here. It says domain not in use because I haven't used it yet. Um, I'm gonna click on use your domain. And then let me put my picture out of the way. Um, so then it's gonna give you some options. Create a website, forward your domain, da 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 da. <laughs> Let's click on forward domain because we're gonna forward it. Now it's gonna ask you how you wanna forward it. This is always recommended, HTTP redirect, which means as soon as they're redirected to the destination, 
the internet address URL of the destination domain will appear on the address bar. That's what I explained before, right? Well, the other kind is down here, frame redirect, which means it'll automatically re redirect your domain to the destination. However, the internet address, the URL of your domain will still remain visible on the browser's address bar. So how do you do that? Well, first you enter the destination. So HTTPS, I'm going to do one. So on my website, I have one page that I labeled a uh, demo. So this is a page that I use to demo a really quick mock-up, maybe like a landing page, something really simple. Uh, to show a customer, hey, this is, you know, what, what is um, the idea that we have for your website. So it's just like the mock-up page, a little small demo. It's not a full-blown website. It's just one landing page. It's not a full-functioning website. So I have that URL. I have that page. It's HTTPS, <laughs> semicolon, no, colon, no, okay, dot, dot, slash, slash. <laughs> www.webexdesigns.com slash demo. You can try going on my page, but it won't take you anywhere. Um, so now what I want to do instead is I'm going to use my domain that I purchased, checkoutyourwebsite.com, so that way I can give it to my customer and tell them, here, go to checkoutyourwebsite.com. It'll take you to your demo page. So I'm going to redirect it. After I type in the URL, and I select frame direct, redirect at the bottom, I'm gonna give the page a title. Um, your demo, let's change it, your Webex demo. Short description, this is your website. I'm just making it up, but you can, you know, take your time and write a really good description because it will show up. And then search terms, search terms, <laughs> terms. All right, Webex. Demo. That's all I got. Oh, let's put Nayeli on there. Okay. All right. So on here it says, please use no more than 255 characters. So we've done that because I didn't do too much thinking about it. So once you filled out all the information, you're going to click save. Now remember, this is just on one in one. It's possibly a little bit different in a different platform if you use it in a different registrar. I don't know if all of them have it, but one in one has it. So that's why I chose this one. So right now, it's back on the domain page after you, um, you know, clicked on your domain and it gives you the information, the details. So right now the status is, it's connecting it. So it's trying to connect it. I don't know if it's connected or not. Uh, we'll test it out in just a moment by opening another page. So, I'm gonna bring this down so you can see what I'm doing www.checkoutyourwebsite.com and look at the tab it already says your Webex demo yay what I do not like is that you cannot change the favicon up here so that little sheet of paper stays the same but look it took him to the page how do I know it's the page well let me show you webexdesigns.com slash demo. There's my favicon from my real URL. There's the name of it, demo site, and here it is. The same page. One of them has my original URL, the other one has the masking URL, which was done by Rain Redirect. Um, so let's say that you're done you don't use that URL anymore. You don't want it redirected. You actually need to use it for something else. You actually need to use it to um, connect it to a different uh, website or something like that. So what you would do is don't try to go back to the redirect. Don't, let me see, adjust destination. You can either adjust this so you can change it, point it to a different page, and all you do is go back, forward domain, and then just update this page, which is the same original page that you had before. To disconnect it completely, 
you are back in this page. Let me show you how we got there. From here, you click on your website. It displays your details. And at the very, very bottom, you're going to see in red letters, Reset DNS or Usage. So you click Reset. And it is just telling you it's going to delete everything, etc., etc. So it'll remove it. And then you click Reset Now. And it's been successful. So status, it's in Reset. So now it's no longer connected. Okay. That's how you do it. That's how you transfer um, or redirect by masking uh, using a frame redirect. Now, maybe you don't have a demo to show people. Maybe you don't need to redirect it for this reason. Maybe, just maybe, you have one tab or one page inside of your website that is in a different language. Maybe you did your home page in English, and maybe you did uh, another page in French. It's the same home page, just in a different language, and you want to give them a different URL to land on that French home page. Well, you can do it like this. I hope that helped. Uh, Angeline, please leave a comment below if, if this is if this does help you. <laughs> this one was for you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos. If you have any requests, please message me. Find me on Facebook. I'll leave the link below. And give this video a thumbs up so other people can find it. Please. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.